we got our bear spray. I was watching some YouTube videos on how to use this. It's quite the contraption. Just gotta make sure we don't spray it on ourselves. Yellowstone National Park and we're headed to Glacier National Park and we're staying in Columbia Falls which is a little town right outside of Glacier and uh, hoping to make some pretty good time here so that we can hit up a trail. The drive through Montana to Glacier National Park is so scenic. The mountain views and the lake views along the way are absolutely breathtaking. After about a six hour drive, we arrive in Columbia Falls. We check into our Airbnb cabin and we get ready to go do an afternoon hike in Glacier National Park. We're here in Glacier National Park. We're gonna do the Trail of the Cedars and this trail connect to the Avalanche Trail down to Avalanche Lake. This is supposed to be one of the best hikes in the park. It's a moderate hike, so let's get going. The Avalanche Lake Trail is the perfect hike to do your first day in Glacier National Park. There's not a lot of elevation gain and it helps you climatize to the altitude in Glacier National Park. have it all. You can stay in a teepee, you can stay in a canoe, you can stay in a cabin, anything you want. Here at Lake McDonald, it's all yours. What are we doing? Packing it up? Packing it up. We're gonna go on a big trail. <laughs> big one today. It is a big one today. We got our bear spray. We're getting ready to start our hike for the day. This is gonna be a long one, probably about 16, 17 miles. We were gonna do the Highland Trail, but part of it is closed. So we're gonna start here at the Loop Trail and then go up to... The Granite Park Chalet. 
And then from there, we're gonna do the granular glacier. When you're hiking in Glacier National Park, it's always good to have a plan B and a plan C. Well-known hikes in the park might be open one day and not the next, and this could be for a number of reasons, such as bear activity, weather, or even forest fires. a lot of uh, switchback. It was pretty steep going up. Um, so I think uh, going down is going to be a little better. Made it to the chalet. Right over there. We made it. Halfway. <laughs> so they even have little cabins you can uh, stay the night in up here at the uh, chalet, which is pretty cool. We just left the chalet and we're gonna start the Highland Trail. We're gonna go to the Grignol Overlook. So let's hit it. So we thought this was gonna be a little easier than our hike up, but it looks like we have quite the trail in front of us. Not too bad. Well, we haven't done it yet. Huh? We haven't done it yet. <laughs> Gotta keep it optimistic. Let's go. to the overlook it was really really windy up there if you continue up the mountain another couple hundred feet there's another overlook that's even more spectacular Earlier I said it was going to be 17 miles. We just did uh, 12 miles because we were going to do the Swift Current Pass. But it was just a lot with just doing the Grenoble Lake. So, we're done. Woo! Is it cold? Yeah. Right here. That's it. This little cabin we're staying at is great. One of the 
things we forgot to mention is the cherry on top of this trip is that afterwards we're cruising to Wisconsin to pick up our dog. She's gonna be, she's a, a puppy, golden doodle. Her name's Nala. There's Goose Island. <laughs> we're driving the Sun Road and we're headed to Logan's Pass. Going to the Sun Road is a scenic mountain road in Glacier National Park that goes all the way through the park from the west entrance to the east entrance. It's one of the most scenic drives in the United States. It was constructed from 1921 to 1932 and was a true engineering marvel at the time. They basically built the road up in the mountain without having to blast through it and destroy the landscape and keeping the natural scenic beauty intact. We're going to walk up to Logan's Pass and do the Hidden Lakes Trail today. The very beginning of the movie shows them driving up in the mountains and it was actually filmed right here on the Sun Road in Glacier National Park. There's actually a shot of him, of him going right through the tunnel. So. So we drove 21 straight hours from Montana to my parents' cabin in Wisconsin to pick up our new fur baby, Nala. And uh, she's a mini golden doodle. And there's gonna be more of her to come. Say hi. 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 